We move our bodies by using energy to activate our muscles. Similarly, in a car's equivalent of a motor system, the kinetic energy generated by the engine is transmitted to the tires via several components. The character of a car is greatly affected by the location of the drive wheels. In front engine vehicles, those with driven front wheels are called FF. Rear wheel drive as FR. And those with both FF and FR are called four wheel drive or 4WD. When the engine is mounted elsewhere, Cars can be built on an RR or MR layout. First, let's take a look at how a manual transmission FR is powered. The power from the engine travels to the clutch via the flywheel. The clutch is responsible for transmitting the power smoothly and also functions as an on-off switch. The clutch and the drive shaft are interlocked by gears, allowing them to rotate in sync and glide back and forth. The clutch pedal powers the release fork to push on the springs, engaging and disengaging the clutch disc from the flywheel. Energy is transferred during contact between the clutch disc and the flywheel. When the clutch is powered, the main drive shaft rotates as a result. This rotational force is converted to speed and torque by the transmission, making the power available to the driver on demand. The transmission converts revolutions using gear ratios. In manual transmissions, the driver must manually change gears using the shift lever. By shifting gears, the direction of rotation can be changed. This allows the vehicle to move forward and backward while the engine only produces rotations in one direction. In automatic transmissions, the torque converter replaces the job of the clutch. It is housed together with the transmission and the hydraulic control unit that provides the necessary pressure to automate gear ratio changes. The torque converter uses the same principles as fluid couplings. Inside a housing filled with oil, the pump impeller rotates and pushes out the fluid. The force of the fluid then turns the turbine runner that drives the gears behind it. Sandwiched between the pump impeller and the turbine runner is the stator, another impeller. The engine powers the pump impeller that forces out the oil, which in turn rotates the turbine runner. When the oil flows to the back side of the turbine runner, the stator redirects the reflux flow in the rotational direction of the pump impeller, contributing to the rotational force of the impeller. When the pump impeller and the turbine runner rotate at substantially different speeds, torque is multiplied. When the rotational speeds are constant, torque multiplication is diminished. However, because the pump impeller and the turbine runner are not physically linked, it is not possible to achieve 100% efficiency. The lockup style is designed to compensate for this inefficiency. When torque conversion is not needed, the input and output shafts are physically linked by a lockup clutch, allowing the engine to continue producing power without slippage. The auxiliary transmission converts the power generated by the torque converter. A planetary gear set in the auxiliary transmission consists of a sun gear, planet gears, and a ring gear. The brake and clutch systems shift the gear set to change the rotational speed and direction. In an automatic transmission, or AT, the gear ratio is stepped and fixed and not necessarily optimized for the engine. Continuously variable transmission, or CVT, addresses this problem. A typical CVT system has an input shaft and an output shaft that are attached to a pair of opposing cone-shaped pulleys with a belt running in between. 
as the distance between the pulleys widens or closes, an infinite number of gear ratios are created without any steps. In FR vehicles, power from the transmission travels to the final drive via the drive shaft. The suspension absorbs the vertical shock from uneven roads by moving accordingly with the wheels. Because the final drive also moves in tandem with the suspension, the relationship between the transmission and the final drive changes with movement. Universal joints allow the relative movement necessary to transmit rotary motion as the angles and distance change between the two parts. Hooks joints and ball joints are common types of universal joints. Finally, the final drive transmits torque and rotational power to the wheels. In an FR vehicle, bevel gears turn the rotations from the drive shaft 90 degrees. FF vehicles typically use external spur gears since axis of rotation for the transmission and the drive shaft are often the same. When a car makes a turn, the outside tires require a larger turning radius than the inside tires. As a result, the inside tires must rotate at a slower rate than the outside tires. The differential allows a pair of wheels to rotate at different speeds while driving them with equal force. The differential is positioned between two drive shafts. The half shaft transmits the rotations from the final drive unit to the vehicle's driven wheels. Drive shafts are equipped with joint mechanisms that absorb vertical movement of the wheels. For FF vehicles in particular, the mechanism is designed to allow for a wide range of movement to accommodate steering. The end of the drive shaft connects to the hub, where mechanisms such as the suspension, brakes and wheels are attached.